Bitty Bum Boutique TV. Today I'm going to show you how to make this. Um, it's actually really easy, looks really complicated, but it's a six loop hair bow that is actually really easy to make and I'm excited to show you this so that you can try it at home. So let's get started with what we need. You're going to need a glue gun, you're going to need some scissors, you're going to need some pliers, you're going to need a lighter or your choice of fray um, checking or you're going to need a glue gun, you're going to need some scissors, you're going to need some pliers, you're going to need a lighter or fray check or whatever you want to use to, um, so that your ends don't fray on your ribbon. You're going to need some wire, you're going to need the clip of your choice, I'm going to use a French clip for this one. You're going to need a piece of ribbon for your center. Um, I'm going to be making a knot so I have 7 8 inch wide ribbon to make my knot with. And then you're going to need three pieces of one and a half inch wide ribbon cut to 18 inches. Now I'm doing three different colors. Um, you could do the same color, you could do three different patterns, um, or like here I did three different just solid colors on this. This is black, white, and gray. Um, so this one I'm going to be doing one pattern and the two solids. You just want to um, be careful with the pattern because you are you know, going to see the other side and it's not two-sided. So you could make your ribbon two-sided if you wanted, but um, that's a lot more work. So I'm going to try it with the one pattern and two printed. So let's get started with the first step. Okay, so the first step is that you're going to take each of your 18 inch pieces of ribbon and you're going to make this um, two loop bow. So you're going to be making a figure eight. I've already done it with the pink one. Um, so I'm going to show you with the next two. And it's actually really simple. You're just going to take your piece of ribbon and fold it in half and make a good crease so that you can see where that crease is. And then you're going to make this figure eight um, shape. So you're going to take one side and bring it to the middle. And you wanna, um, so here's your crease and you're gonna take it about an inch and a half farther, you know, off of here. Like you want this to be about an inch and a half. And then you're gonna take the other side and do the same thing actually. That's not how I want to. Sorry. You're going to take it like that. Same thing, but then we're going to bring this one around so that it's just a figure eight. So the other way would have brought it and you had had tails on the same side. We want to have the tails on two different sides. So you're going to do about the same thing. You want about an inch and a half over, you know, past this, and then you want your ribbons to match up. So you can see how this matches up here and, and then up here. And then once you, th it looks like you have it even, you're going to fold. Now you could do the normal, just fold down and then fold both sides down. You could do it that way. I'm um, actually. What I did with the pink one is I'm going to fold, I'm going to make an extra fold. So you fold up in the middle and then you just accordion fold, oops, fold up in the middle and then you fold, it's just one extra step. So your ends should end down and it's going to be kind of hard because it's not very big. Usually I only do that with the thicker ribbon, but I was just going to try it with this, but you don't have to. You can do the normal um, just three loop, you know, so you would just have this. This would be facing down like we did on the boutique bow. So once you have that and it looks like you have it about in the middle, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this one. Cut off your extra and go ahead and flatten the center just like that. Okay? And then you should and then you're going to do the same thing with your last piece. So we're going to do it one more time. We're going to fold it in half, make a nice crease. So that you see where the middle is. And then we're going to make our figure 8. So the main thing you want to remember is the way this is shaped. You want it to be like that. You don't want it to be like this, like we do when we make this the regular bow, and you don't want it to be like that. So you want it facing this way, like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take my other side, 
like that and you just want it to be lined up and about even and then we're going to and I'm, I actually think I think I'm going to turn it over I liked it like that but I'm going to turn it over so that I think we're going to be able to see our pattern better let's try it no not like that like this yeah like this so now I lost my crease Okay, it's right there. So I'm gonna actually do it like this with the pattern because I then that way just that part will be white. I think we're gonna be able to see my pattern better since it's not double-sided. All right, so just like that, it looks lined up, looks even. Now I'm gonna do my fold again. So it's folding um, up and then down. You just have to make really tiny folds when you do it this way. And I just do one side at a time, and you just have to really hold it, just like that. We're going to tighten it with our ribbon. I mean, I'm sorry, with our wire, not with our ribbon. If it looks nice and even, then we're going to tighten our wire and cut off that extra. And then flatten it. So you could do the printed ribbon either way. Um, I don't know which way would have been better. It probably would have been better the other way. Maybe I can just flip it. Mm, no. We'll have to do it this way for now, but maybe the other way was better. Um, okay, so next step is attaching these three two loop bows together. So I'm going to put my printed one on in the middle. So I'm just going to lay it on top. I'm going to start with the blue. So you kind of make an X like that. And then I'm going to lay this one um, like this. So you kind of have, they're kind of, it's like, how am I going to attach those all together? But you have them like this so that when you add the wire to attach them all together, they're going to end up going to one side but you just want to make sure you have them spread out before you do that. And then you just are going to look and take a bigger piece of wire and just kind of hold it in the back and then bring it through a couple times. And then once you have it, you know, a little tight, then you can let go and kind of see how you're going to shape it. And if you need to move things. And then once we tighten this, it's going to take more of this shape. So I think I want this one to be more down there, like that. So you can see it kind of goes opposite like that. Okay. I'm probably totally confusing you. But now we're just going to tighten this ribbon. You just kind of have to play with this one. There's not like a, from what I've discovered, there's not an exact way to get it to look the same every single time. And then once you add your knot in the middle, it definitely ties it all together. It's just a fun, more, you know, full bow, but an easy way to make all these loops. Okay, you don't really need to flatten that one because it's, um, already pretty flat. So I'm going to go ahead and seal my ends before I forget to do that. Probably should have done that first. So if you want, you can do that first before you attach them all together. Might make it easier because you don't want to catch one of your other ribbons on fire. Ruin your whole bow. Reseal it. Okay, go to the other side. Two more. These are all pretty straight, but if they weren't straight, you would want to trim them. Whoops. Caught that one on fire a little bit. Okay, 
So now, we're just gonna take our piece of ribbon we already have cut to make a knot. Hopefully I cut it long enough. Yep, and we're just gonna make a little knot. Remember, I'd, I'm not gonna pull it too tight. That's about good. And then we're gonna attach it here in the middle. So it's gonna kind of bring everything together and then you can hold it tight. You can hold it tight and then kind of play with your loops. And get them how you want. Like that. And then I'm just gonna, I'm holding it with my other hand and I'm gonna put some glue down on the sides. Like that. So it stays in place while I get my clip attached. In the clip, you're just with when you're using the French clips, you're going to take out this middle piece so that you can wrap your ribbon over the um, main part of this. The clip makes it keeps it nice and secure. Okay, so we're just going to attach that right there, and then we just need to trim off this extra. That, and then we're just going to glue these pieces down on top of that bar of the clip there. I'm running out of glue. Okay. Just get that glued down. Then you can put this bar piece back in the middle. Close it, and then there you have it. Nice big fluffy bow. You can see these are really cute, and there's all kinds of combinations you could do with solids and prints. Um, so I hope you have fun making this bow, and don't forget to like and the video and subscribe um, for more for more bow tutorials. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.